And I think the, the highest level point on this is about how Downing Street operates. It is, they've just taken the same playbook as Brown and Blair. Everything is dictated from the top for short-term political vantage. Everything is tactical. This cannot go on. And the point Ian Duncan Smith made today about cabinet government, and Jacob Rees-Mogg has made the same point, and I've written about it in The Observer today, we need to reset how Whitehall operates. You have government departments with secretaries of state running them because they should have responsibility. And the Chancellor and the Prime Minister are just part of a team. The Prime Minister is meant to be primus inter pares. He's not meant to be a dictator. The, the, the Treasury is not meant to control everything that goes on in government departments. And Ian is not the only minister who's got deeply frustrated with short-term decisions which have huge impact on government policies in departments which haven't been properly thought through. I mean, Amber Rudd should look at her energy policy. Our energy policy is a disaster. Uh, we are talking about running out of electricity over the next uh, a few years because there has been so much short-termism in energy policy. We've had six years in government to grip this, and we haven't. And we've now got the most expensive electricity in Europe, just about, and the least secure energy supplies. And right. we, can, we can't even build our first nuclear power station. It's still in chaos. This is, you know, that is an example of where the Treasury has ridden roughshod over the Department for Energy, right. and we've still got chaos in policy. And I appreciate ministers in government have to put yep. a brave face on things because they have to show unity. But I'm afraid Ian Duncan-Smith on this question just snapped.